Shelly, the victim says she was screaming, trying to run away from the animal, but that it wouldn't let up until she went on the offense. Thursday morning was just like any other for Jane Worthy and her dog Toby, an early walk around her Merrimack home. Then she smelled a skunk, but this animal didn't just stink. Something came around the corner of my house and started charging at us. Worthy grabbed Toby, ran to the front door with the animal chasing and attacking her. She used a broom to swing at it and it ran off into the woods. Oh, it really got me good. She has the scars to prove it, suffering about 20 of them in less than a minute. And I ended up at the doctor's office with multiple gashes, most likely bites, a couple scratches, and now a series of shots. Toby is just fine. No scratches, nothing. He just thought it was just another adventure. Police haven't confirmed what kind of animal it is, but witnesses believe it's a sick gray fox. It was reddish with a little bit of gray on it, and um, it just had its ears back the whole time. People shouldn't panic that this animal may or may not be in the neighborhood area. After the attack on Briarwood Drive, the possible fox was spotted hours later on Cedar Lane, where police say the animal tried to attack again and was scared off by a homeowner. We don't want the kids to not play and enjoy the summer. That's the big thing. Um, but, you know, just be aware of the fact that the animal has been spotted. If somebody sees it, maybe take the kids in, take the pets in. Since then, there haven't been any more sightings. It's unclear if the animal had rabies, but Worthy is getting the vaccination, not taking any chances. It could have been much worse. I'm glad that there were no little kids around because it's little kids on the street, too. Officers say the animal is acting unusual, and if you happen to see it, call police right away. Reporting live in Merrimack, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.